Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In the previous session, we have learned what is Node.js and how what is the use of this Node.js also we have seen it. Now in this video, we will learn how to install the Node.js in the Windows environment or the other other OS operating system. Normally, the pretty Node.js installation is pretty straightforward way only. So there is nothing uh, <coughs> uh, complicated in that one. So you can go in the Google and you can type for Node.js and if you search for Node.js and here you will be able to see the website, the official website Node.js.org. If you open this Node.js.org, here the at the time of this recording, so these are the versions that are currently running on. So this is an LTS support that means long term support, so which is recommended for most of the users and this is the current Node.js which is having the latest features. So whatever the version you want to install it, you can install it. So let's try to install the current latest version. So if you click on this one, you will be having a .exe file and you can directly install that Node.js thing. So I will try to tell you the another option that is nothing but if you go to the docs and if you go into the docs and guides and here introduction to Node.js and if you go here, so you will be redirected to another website that is nodejs.dev slash learn. So let it open. So here it has opened. So Node.js and here if you try to see how to install Node.js. So Node.js can be installed in different ways. So this is the thing I told you. So the direct way I have told you. So you can download that exe file and you can click next, next, next. It will directly install the Node.js in your system. The same thing happens for Mac and Linux also. It will give you the uh, dev in the Ubuntu and another one in the OS executable file and you can install it. <coughs> so the post, this post highlights the most common and the convenient one. So now normally we can go to this download and you can install it. And for example, another one is, so this is the popular way to install the Node.js, NVM. So NVM means Node Version Manager. So using this Node Version Manager, you can install or you can switch to the particular version of the Node.js, whichever is desired. So it allows you to easily switch the Node.js version and install new version to try and easily roll back if something breaks. So by using this one, we can use the Node version manager. Let's try to install this Node version manager. So why it is why, why is this NVM uh, uh, is recommended is so it is useful to test your code with old Node.js versions also. Let's try to see. And here they are giving that GitHub, this is the NVM, soft, NVM software, so install the Node.js. So let's try to open in the new tab. So this NVM actually supports the Linux and the Mac OS. So the Windows, it, ha it doesn't have a support. But for the Windows, so they have come, uh, the Windows other operators, they have come up with an another one that is nothing but an alternate to exist. So here NVM also support Windows in some cases. It should work through Windows subsystem for Linux. So here this is the NVM iPhone Windows. So this is the thing which supports for NVM for the Windows. So this is not an uh, uh, this is a, not an identical to the NVM. So this is a complete different project, but it is similar to NVM. But for Windows, so here similar, not identical to NVM, but for Windows it is similar only. So here if you want to install it for the Windows. You can download it now. For the Mac and Linux, it's a straightforward. You can install that NVM thing. It is available for you. For Windows only, we need to install another software uh, instead of that one. It is same as the. It is not the same thing as NVM, but it is the thing which supports the NVM thing. So now, if I click on download, so here you'll be able to see the latest version 1.1.9, and let's click on the exe file. So here you'll be able to see the ex file. I am clicking on this ex file. It is about 4.64 MB. So here it has been installed. I am clicking on this NVM setup and here you will be able to see a dialog box here. It will be appeared. So click on the I accept the agreement and click on the next. So go on clicking on the next. It will be installed in Node.js. If you want to change the location, you can change it. And I am clicking on the install. So now the NVM for Windows has been successfully installed. Now let's go to the command prompt. So try to open the command prompt in the administrator only. So run as an administrator. Don't try to open the command prompt directly. Why? Because the NVM will not support you to change the uh, node versions or install the latest versions. 
like this you need to have you need to open the command prompt in a administrator so try to right click on that one and run it as an administrator now here the command prompt is opened in the administrator so now let's try to click on nvm here if i try to press nvm so here you need after installing this nvm you will be able to see this bunch of options before installing this nvm you will not able to see these all the commands so now after installing we are able to see that okay the one version install here is 1.1.9 and these are some of the commands so which we can use this node.js so now here if you want to see the list of node versions that are installed in our thing so we can use node hyphen v now if you try to see here the node is not installed in my system so if you try to click on node if you are able to see like this option means that means the node is not installed so in order to install what i not what i need to do is so here we can use the list of command here you will be able to see nvm install and in the bracket you can give the version so version means the specific version 16.16.0 18.8.0 like that if you want to install the latest version so just you can directly tell that nvm install latest that's it so now it will try to install the 18.8.0 which is the latest one and it will tell it will take according to this one 64 bit architecture if you want you can also optionally mention that one also now it is trying to install the node js let it install so now here no nvm so node js latest one has been successfully installed so now in order to use this node for example after installing this one if you want if you click node hyphen v then still you will be able to get that node is not recognized so why because in order to use this one so we need to use nvm use 18.8.0 or otherwise you can also use nvm on so it will try to take the latest one so nvm is enabled now using the node 18.8.0 now if i try to click node hyphen v now the version it is trying to get it is 18.8.0 now i want to install another node version okay let's say that now if you want to install another version so now here the latest version has been installed right if you try to see our uh, node js so here if you go to our node js so home website so this is our 18.18.0 is the node js latest version but if you want to install the LTS version means you can use the command. So what is the command? We can use it is nvm use LTS. If you want, you can mention something like 16.6.0 like this. You can mention the version also. So just I am showing you some versions. So now 16. Point, so here we are not we are not we we don't have an LTS version 16.17.0. So what we need to do is nvm install LTS. You can use it. Now, if you try to see, so it is trying to install. It is trying to install the sixteen point seventeen point zero also. So let it install. So in Mac OS also, NVM. You, if you install the NVS, the same commands it will use it. So you can use it in the Mac and Linux also, the same scenario. But I have a Windows operating system, so that is the reason I am trying to show it in the Windows. So it is it is installing. Let it install. So here. 16.17.0 has been installed now if you try to see node hyphen v okay still it is 18.8.0 only when you want if you want to shift it you need to use nvm use 16.17.0 or otherwise lts also you can use it now we are having 16.17.0 installed in our thing you can use like this or otherwise you can say that it is lts version nvs use lts also you can use it not a problem now if you try to see here node hyphen v now the right now the version will be 16.17.0 not 18. Point, previously it was 18.8.0 now it is 16.17.0 so like this using the node version manager we can switch between the node versions so that we can test our code in different node js environments so this is the best approachable way to install the node js in our system whereas if you install that node automatically directly means so you will be having only one version in your operate uh, in your system and if you want to install the latest version means so you need to uninstall that one and you need to install the another one so like this we need to do it whereas using this node version manager you can easily switch back to the versions so like using nvm use and all those things hope you understood about this installation of this node js if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you